Hey everyone at home or wherever you happen to be, we are celebrating the season of love and whether that means somebody you care about, your favorite pet, or art, we're going to display it in a piece inspired by Kandinsky right here. So Kandinsky is considered the pioneer of abstract art. Abstract art being art that is in uh, unusual colors, shapes. It doesn't really give you a photographic representation of the subject. And a lot of his paintings have multiple colors and lots of different energetic lines. So we're gonna recreate that style today. And I know that Valentine's Day has lots of pinks and reds, but we're gonna just go all over with the rainbow and have fun with it. So, first I'm gonna start off with my black pastel, oil pastel. And I'm gonna start up here in the middle of my paper at the top. And we're gonna start drawing a heart, curve around to the side, come down and just about from where we started is where we're going to end and line that up. So then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Curve over and come down. Your heart doesn't have to be perfectly even on either side. In fact, if you want to elongate your heart, have a taller heart, go right ahead. You want a shorter, more plump heart, then that's up to you. Just have fun with it. Okay, so now that we have our heart drawn, what I want you to do is just go ahead and draw as many circles touching as you can and I'll show you what we're gonna do with these in a minute and make them all different sizes you can see I put a big one here I even have space for a little one right there put a huge one there Okay, so once you've completed that, then I have a version already filled in that I can show you. And this is what my completed heart looks like. You see I have lots of different circle sizes and I've filled in to the best of my ability the blank space in between. at one of Kandinsky's paintings in which he uses concentric circles. And concentric circles are circles that get smaller and smaller and smaller down to a single point, much like a target. Okay, so to fill in these concentric circles, now we're going to go from using our oil pastels to our watercolors. And we're gonna just use any color that we want I want you to play around with the uh, different colors, how they uh, look beside each other, and just create rings. And they don't have to be perfect. Kandinsky never had perfect even lines. And remember, if you're going to switch up your color, you want to make sure to get all the paint out of your brush before going to your next color so you don't mix the two and contaminate it. You'll end up with muddy colors. And you want your colors to stay nice and bright. Also play around with how much water 
you're using in your paints. You may notice I put a lot of paint on this brush and it's nice and dark. Well, what happens if I lighten that up, use some water, just barely go into the color. and come over here and see it's much lighter. So go ahead and see how many different shades and variations you can get from just a single pan of color. And now that I've shown you the technique, you can go ahead and continue to fill in all your different circles. And once you've done that, we'll come back and we're going to go ahead and fill in the spaces between the circles. All right, so now we have our completed Kandinsky heart uh, colored in with the circles in all the different fun colors that we've come up with. We've also had a chance to work with watercolor techniques, how much water we use in the brush versus how much pigment we use in the brush. So now what we want to do to finish up our heart is go back to our black uh, oil pastel and just go in around each of the circles and color them in. And as you're doing this, just be mindful of where you're placing your hand. You'll see I have my hand arched over here so that I'm not getting it into the oil pastel and rubbing it because you don't want to smudge the pretty picture that you've taken all this time to work on. Okay, so now we have our finished uh, Kandinsky inspired heart project. And now we can really see how the colors pop now that we've added the black in the background. So if you are happy with your piece where it is, we're going to go ahead and stop the beginning portion here. However, if you'd like to continue on and learn some more of Kandinsky's techniques, then just hang on a moment and we'll be right back and start the advanced portion. Welcome back to the advanced portion of our Kandinsky project. I am going to show you up on the screen a few examples of uh, some techniques that Kandinsky's used in several of his pieces. And these are just different types of marks he's used. And we're going to try to recreate just some of that imagery um, using our oil pastels and our soft pastels. He worked a lot in oil paint, and since we're not doing that, we're just going to try to sort of recreate that look. So right now, I am going to start off with the black pastel again. And this is 
where the real fun of this project comes in because there's no rhyme or reason to what we're going to do here. We're just going to start playing and making lines. And don't think too much about it other than you want to be aware of the space around your heart and how you're filling it and how the composition is going to look. As you see, I'm adding in all these black marks. I'm thinking I want a black mark of some sort in each corner. And I think I'm going to add in this pretty violet color. And then I'm going to start adding in some half circles because I'm going to want to come in and use my soft pastels to create this look that you can get with oil paints when they blend out using a brush. So I'm going to go in here and pick up a warm yellow, bring it along the inside of these circles here. And I'm going to bring it on the outside of these circles. And wherever I put my soft pastel is where I'm going to smudge. Okay. So just using one finger, I'm going to go ahead and run along the inside here. And pull this down. Be very mindful when you're doing this, working around your heart in the middle. And you can see here, this is kind of giving us that texture that Kandinsky gets with his oil paintings when he uses really thick applications, a dryer brush, and scrapes it across the surface. These smoother areas that I'm creating right here are like his softer applications and give a really nice soft blending effect. I'm going to bring the yellow out of this circle so it comes up. And let this yellow blend over the purple circle here. And smudge this yellow so it radiates out from the purple. And the same thing I did with this swirl. And pull that yellow out. And then finally, this guy down here. And just blend him a little.
Okay. So I'm happy with how my piece turned out. If you would like to keep going and add some more details, then go right on ahead. This is your own Kandinsky-inspired Valentine. Um, just be sure to clean off your hands when using the oil pastels and the soft pastels um, before touching your piece or else you're going to get smudged and you've done all this beautiful work and you definitely, definitely don't want to destroy it. So thank you so much for joining me on this very lovely Art Explorations for Kids. I hope you enjoyed this project and I can't wait to see you again next time.